is px websites so they keep coming up again and again and this time it is on reddit so this is a website and where in short what this guy is trying to do is it's he's trying to send the final request okay and that is not going to work so let me show you how he is doing and what kind of problem he is facing so let's analyze the website and how it is working you click on price report and see what happens in the network so you can see that there is a post request it contains some data which is being sent then step 2 from this drop down select daily prices so you see here there is one more post request which goes to the server right and then the third step you select one date all right so nothing has happened here and when i click get data then you see that okay this post request is again sent to the server so what you have to do is you cannot just send the final post request and be done with it so if you want to mimic this then you have to send all these three post requests one by one then only you will be able to scrape this particular page and what i've done is i've created a basic skeleton okay and i've set the start url to this page and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to use open in browser so this one is scrapy.utils.response so this is the function so right now let's run it and see where we are so scrapy and this is run spider prices.py so right now if i run it in the parse method this is what we have perfect all right so this is the request that is sent if you work with aspx you know that there are a lot of special fields this double underscore event target double underscore event argument last focus view state and there are a few more okay now what we have to do is we have to make sure that we are sending these correctly and all of these variables are inside the form data and that is being submitted there is one easy way and what is that easy way that easy way is to use form request okay so let's import it from scrapy import form request now this form request provides a very useful from response function so this is a very good function and i have to write yield because what this is going to return is a request but it will have the form data from the response prefilled so whatever is inside the form that we are going to submit all those values will be readily available so that means that we don't have to worry about these things we can forget about these double underscore fields we can totally ignore these will be handled by from response method very easy right so now we, let's focus on the other ones so these are the three so let's create a dictionary and let's call it data so i'm just going to paste in for now so we have the data dictionary ready so this data sent to the form data argument right and we also need to provide one callback so this one is going to be self dot let's give it a name so let's call it step 2 let's write our step 2 self and response and again open in browser function and let's see what we have now so i'm going to simply read on the spider and there we go see that this price report is selected and this drop down is prefilled right so this is a success so what's the next step next step is to use uh, click this daily prices but before i do that let me clear everything and now i'm going to click daily prices and this is the request that i want to mimic again this is a post request we have same event argument and all these special variables all right and there is one more thing that is uh, we can see that this retail and english so this was already selected right we already sent that retail english price report so this is something we already sent the only additional thing is daily prices right so this is the only additional thing that we are going to send so in fact let's make use of this entire text okay and we don't have to worry about these also they will be sent so the only thing that we need to do is send this one 
and this time let's call it step 3 and don't be confused about what field you should send and what field you should not send if you send something extra which is automatically handled by from request it's not going to impact anything so you can play around self response and let's use our favorite open in browser this response okay so i'm going to run this same spider again and let's see if we are reaching this type 2 and there we go you can see that now daily prices is selected now let's select a date and click on get data so this is the one that's what we want to mimic so let's create a copy of this all right and what we are going to send is only these two rest of the things i'm leaving as it is if it doesn't work then maybe we can play around with sending few more things but for now i believe this should work and this is where we are going to get the table that we want to scrape right parse table all right so self and response and let's see let's see in the browser whether we are reaching the correct page or not all right so let's run this once again there we go we got the page right now we have the table it should be very easy to you know create some selectors and extract the table that you want so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use pandas okay so that's the easiest one whenever it comes to tables so import pandas as pd okay now instead of open in browser what i'm going to do is i'm going to call pd dot read underscore html and from response dot text so this will give me a list of df data frames okay so that's why i've I used a plural here export all these data frames into different csv files okay so for df in data frames in fact let me use i and df and use enumerate because i want a counter and let's do dfs to csv function okay let's use a name something like data underscore dot csv and let's run the spider and at the end of this spider i should have few files so let's open this in finder and as you can see that we have data zero data one so these are the different files so this is in few bytes but this one is in kb so let's open this so we have all the data that we needed here and if you want to learn more about pandas do let me know in the comments so that's it for now i'll see you in the next one